<laughs> it's a new morning, so I'm going to start out with, I guess this stuff is called snake ju juice. I was drinking it already. I was drinking apple cider vinegar. And then I heard you can add lemon. And then I came across something saying, get your salt first. Add sea salt in there. And I'm like, mmm, the sea salt tastes good. And then I watched Newsy video. And she was always talking about drinking snake juice. And I wanted to know what was in there. And she showed what was in there. It was basically what I was already drinking. I just had to add the no salt, which is pot potassium. And since I've been doing this, y'all, I don't feel as bloated when I wake up in the morning and stuff. It do send me to the bathroom like crazy. But apparently this is basically like electrolytes I'm making. So right here is sea salt that I keep in this container because I have a big old bag up that I ordered from Amazon. This is salt substitute. And normally I drink lemon, but I had a little bottle of lemon like this and I bought the lime at the same time. And all the lemon was gone. This was before I realized this little regimen, morning regimen I was doing was working. So today I'm going to use this until I get some more lemons. And I have my apple cider bread. Like I said, this helps real good with bloating. You want me to go over it with you to the truck? Okay. I do it as soon as I get done making this video, okay? Okay, so here we go. Oh, I'm going to start out with some warm water because the water that's in this container right here actually got a chunk of ice and it's cold. And I noticed with warm water, it's, it go down better. And it's good for the bloating to have it warm. So I'm going to start out by using some hot water on my Kiri. That was eight ounces that I just added to here. Now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of the, <clears throat> she said no salt, but the store I went to didn't have no salt. They did have this salt substitute, which contains potassium, monocalcium, whatever that is. So I'm just using this. It's been working for me. So a half a teaspoon. What I have been doing too, um, this actually don't taste too bad. So what I've been doing is using like sea salt along with this and food to help cut down on the amount of sodium we're getting. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm going to use a whole tablespoon a lime, you would normally use lemon. Fresh lemon is good. Actually, I think she used two, but this container isn't so big. So I'm just going to use this one. And then I'm going to use the ACV. I just shake until I see the mother is off the bottom. And one tablespoon of that. Then I mix it. Make sure I stir up the bottom where it's at. The good thing is because this is hot water, it's actually melting that salt for me. And then it don't need to be hot water like tea. I just like it. I like my water first thing in the morning to help me get it down when it's room temp water. As long as it's not hot, I can like drink room temp water so fast. Like I can drink this whole container in probably less than five minutes. Now I'm going to add this cold water to even it out. I don't want it to be cold. I know I only have eight ounces of hot water here in this container is like 30 ounces or something so let's see uh, I've had a little bit more cold water and this should be 
a nice temperature for me. It actually is almost cold. Um, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Alright, so I have this container filled up to about here. I should probably fill it up more, but I just don't want my water cold. I'm just going to add some more warm water to it. Okay, so now I got it up to the top, which is here. So I got 30 ounces of water. The temperature is right. And I'm just going to go ahead and down this water, y'all. <laughs> So I'm gonna set my timer. Must stop watch. Don't stop. Wow, I don't know if y'all seen that before. It stopped. I didn't mean to like back all the way out of there, but that's it. Two minutes and 19 seconds for me to drink all of this water. And I want to show y'all that it's all. So there you go. Just a little bit splash. I was probably what was left in the straw when I stopped sucking on it. But I got that out the way. I didn't got in. All that water to jump start my day along with getting me some sodium and some um potassium in first thing in the morning. And I don't have to eat bananas just to get the potassium. And I'm not really a big fan of avocados. Y'all, I've been I was trying to buy them, I was trying to eat them, but I'm just not a fan. So I moved on to other foods. Um Actually, I want to know exactly how many, how much water did I just drink. So, I'm going to measure it using this blender. So, what I'm going to do is fill this up. First, I'm going to rinse it out because I don't want it smelling like vinegar, my blender. Boy, my belly hurts now. It's so full. Anyway. I just filled this up to the top, it's up to here, where the water was at, and let's see. Whoa, y'all, my stomach is huge. It took all that water at once. I feel like it's gonna pop right now too, though. Wow, so it came right here. This is 30 ounces, this is 40 ounces, Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 18, so 30, 32, 34, 36 ounces. Wow. Okay, y'all, so my regimen to help with water weight is to drink 36 ounces first thing in the morning. Why do I drink it first thing in the morning? Well, what's been happening for me with drinking it first thing in the morning, I've been doing this a little over a week now with the potassium but as overall with the apple cider vinegar salt and stuff like that I've been doing this for maybe about three weeks I know I've been doing this since the first of the year um what it's been doing for me is I have a salty savory taste bud I guess we can say that so I crave salts a lot that's probably why my blood pressure is always high that's probably why I'm always bloated when I get off work at night, well, it used to be when I get off work at night and I take my socks off, I would have an indentation in my ankles. And normally, I could see like a puffiness in my wrist up in here and I actually don't see it. And there would be a puffiness in my fingers. Well, that's gone. It's gone because getting a jump start, instead of me trying to say, oh, I'm not going to eat no salt today. And I go all day just craving salt, craving salt, stressing my body out. To the point where I just get a hold to salt and I just indulge 
I started having the salt first thing in the morning and it throws the cravings off because the water I just drunk tasted salty. And it was good to me because of my salty taste. Um, and I used the sea salt that doesn't have as much sodium and it has other minerals. And then using this salt substitute that I recently found out thanks to Newsy. Thank you so much for putting me on to this. I needed this. With the potassium, the way the cell works, the cell has sodium and potassium, your cells in your body. And when there's extra sodium in a body, that sodium holds on to water, and that's why you had a water weight. And with that extra sodium, it it makes your blood pressure rise. I don't really know how to explain it to y'all to make it make sense. But if sodium is inside the cell, it's putting extra water in the cell that put the extra pressure on your blood pressure. If that makes sense to y'all. Potassium kicks the sodium out. So if you kick the sodium out, it kicks the water out. Um... Potassium balance sodium. I don't really know how to explain it. I just learned about that when I was doing the medic class that I dropped out of. So, anyway. I noticed my water weight has went down. My craving for salt is under control now. And my belly is shrinking. I'm intermittent fasting though. And I'm moving more often and things is just working out everything is just working together and i'm just gonna keep it working and i'm so full right now and i drink this first thing in the morning to calm my cravings along with today is an off day today right now it is almost nine o'clock so in the next 30 minutes probably less than that the way my bladder is seen i'm gonna pee all this water out and if I had anywhere to go, I would get all the pee out the way so I don't have to be rushing to the bathroom is why I do that. And if I was going to work, normally I have to be to work at 10. So by the time I get to work, I don't have to constantly pee. I got to boost the water and it's not time for me to eat yet. So right now my belly feels full. Like I just got done eating a turkey and some dressing on Thanksgiving Day and I didn't. So that's going to help me get to my fast. So anybody that's thinking about intermittent fasting, that's something you can think about with the intermittent fasting is drinking, I guess they call it snake juice. And I'm saying I guess they call it snake juice because I just don't like the term snake juice. When I hear snake, I think a uh, serpent, which is the devil. So I don't really like tell myself I'm drinking snake juice. So I'm just gonna keep it at apple cider vinegar water, but that's what's inside my apple cider vinegar water. And yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna include my weigh in in this video because I'm trying to keep my videos low or short not so long and i am weighing in once a week normally i wouldn't weigh once a week but because i'm doing the biggest loser challenge at work and it requires me to weigh in every friday i have to weigh in but i will just maybe next week i will let y'all know my current weight i mean i didn't tell y'all my weight now so i might as well keep it going and I thank y'all for watching. I'm just a mama four that's on a journey.